Hello everyone, this is Fernando, also known as Mission Handy. Uh, a lot of you guys didn't know this, but Mission Handy is because I'm handy, I'm a very handy man, which I have a, you know, a handyman business. And I just wanted to share some with you guys, you know, this is not, has nothing to do with being a missioner, but I have this channel designed for both things, Mission and Mission Handy. And um, so uh, today I want to show you guys, I have a problem with my valve in my shower and it's leaking water, you know, and I, and I want to show you guys some really quick tutorial to see how you guys can save so much money from just replacing a little gasket that I actually have here. And the gasket is this small. Instead of replacing the whole valve in your shower head because you have a leak and you call a plumber and they come here and they want to break your tile down to, to be able to take the valve out of the shower and all that stuff. You know, stay, stay with me and, and learn something. All you moms out there who love babies uh, and, and have shower, showers and, and just, you know, stay with me and watch the video. Today I want to show you guys a real quick tutorial on I have a leak on my shower, as you guys can see. And I close this and it's not, you know, I close it as most I can, tying it the most I can. And a lot of times, you know, you hire a plumber and they want to replace the whole thing, break down your tile. And you know what, I'm going to show you guys right now how to avoid all that and still fix the leak. Please stay tuned to this for this interesting tutorial. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go outside or find your valve and uh, uh, shut the main water off, you know, find wherever it is and shut it off. That's the first thing you want to do, okay, and then go back inside. Okay, then come back inside and uh, re depending on what kind of uh, valve you have there, and in this case I have this type of valves, take the little thing off the top, the little cup off, and inside there will be a screw, most likely it could be a uh, star or a flat screwdriver take that off once you take that off this you pull that it might be stuck so just pull it okay and then twist this thing off, off too whatever however it looks okay and then uh once you do that see you don't have to replace this whole thing you know or even go through the back and plumb a lot of plumbers want to replace their whole thing well if it's if you just put it under and it's not that old or really it's all metal it's not gonna get damaged unless it's really old and beat up then you know you can make that decision but always try the gasket first uh, this tool here it's gonna help you uh, be able to take this off because in here you can't really get in there with pliers so what you do you go to the store and you buy this tool you can take a screenshot off of this right there Okay, and tell them what it's for, and they'll know what it is at the hardware stores. So I'm gonna hold it right there to take a screenshot if you want, and then take it in and say I need this tool. Or the handyman you hire will know this, and it won't be as expensive as trying to break down the whole thing, do some welding, some uh, uh, you know um, copper welding, and do all that stuff. Break down the tile. Go ahead. You have to go find tile and through fights try to mash the tile, grout it. So that's a whole bunch of work. This is gonna save you guys all that. I'm serious. Please, please believe me. And once you use this tool here, you're gonna stick the tool there and um, you're gonna open this, you're gonna twist it. See that? That kind of that helped inside there. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna show you what, what's causing the leak right now. So stay with me. Oh, so now that you got this, oh, see, there it is. That's why I have a leak. The gasket here, it's broken and it's old and it's gone. It's right in here. See, not even kidding you guys, right there. Right there. It's stuck right there. Okay, so I just pulled it out. See it? It's broken. It's all in beat out. This is what seals the, uh, the water. This piece is supposed to be right here. See, there's the rest of it right here. So, oh, let's try that out. Okay, so now uh, I'll show you guys the new gasket. And I'll show you guys the old gasket. See the difference? That screw went right through that big hole, so that's the old one, and this is the one that was leaking. So what I did already, I got two of them, and I already put it under. What you do is you grab it like this, and you just put it under, and squish it under. And then uh, once you do that, you put a little, um, you can go to the hardware store and order those gaskets. They explain to them what happened and what you want to do, and they'll know. You know, even if a handyman comes and, and uh, you know what he's doing and what he's going to do, you're just shower, you're not ignorant about, oh, well, 
I used to go tell you, oh, I gotta replace the whole shower, I gotta break down the whole tile. You say, no. I saw a tutorial, Mission Handy, and he showed, there's another way to do this without to break all my tile, because a lot of handymans don't even know this stuff. You know, I've been a handyman for 20 years now, so I know a lot of tricks. So what you do, is just put your screw in there. So you don't wanna be ignorant when people come to your house and you just tie that up. All right, you tie it. And that plug practically goes in the hole and it seals, this rubber part seals, you know, and you stick it in there and you use the same tool to tighten it. You don't want to over tighten it. You'll know right when it's tying it right away. And um, I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit too because I loosened it up earlier. That's the first part of that. You know, and there, and there you go. But let's go. Let's go test it out. See how this thing works. If it's gonna leak again, if there's gonna still be a leak on my on my uh, you know, water sh shower head. So uh, let's stay tuned. Okay, so we're here. Uh, we just turned the water, the main valve on. Now we're gonna turn the water on. Uh, I just put this on here temporarily. I'll show you guys how to put it all back together in a minute. But we're gonna turn the water on. All right, and then gotta let it run for a few uh, seconds. Now we're gonna close it. As you guys see, I turned the water off, and uh, there's no leak. You know, and just to prove it to you guys that there's no leak, I'm gonna turn the water on right now, just so you know that water is on. I'm gonna back up a little bit. The water is on. Okay, so now you guys saw that it all worked out. I mean, you guys, you guys, there's no leak, not leaking anywhere. When you guys started the video, you guys saw the leaking, leaking. So I'm gonna replace the uh, cold water too. Uh, I don't have to do it because it's not leaking, obviously. But um, I am gonna show you guys how to put this thing back. So what you do, once you, once you make sure this is all nice and tight, and it's not, you know, and you use this, remember this tool is what's important. If you can't get around here, you can always use a tool to cut around and be able to get in there with this tool. But uh, other than that, uh, we just put this piece back on there. You just practice slide on there and twist to the tight position and tighten it. Okay, hand tight. And then just use your uh, knob here, stick it on there, locks it. Put the uh, screw in there, okay, and put the little cup over there, and you're practically done, okay? Sometimes the easiest things to do is the hardest things to do, huh? But there's a little lock here, a little latch where you have to match it, so there you go. So you guys, remember to give a big thumbs up, subscribe and like, and continue to watch my, my YouTube channel. You know, I do a lot of mission work, and I also do a mission handy stuff like this, you know, where I can do a mission, uh, where I can do handy, handy work for you guys out there who, you know, who don't know about, you know, how to build stuff, how to be handy at home, but you can learn through my video. You know, stay connected. Uh, if you want any, have any other comments, any other problems you might have with your house, always, you know, Comment on the video description down below and then I'll, I'll get back to you on that comment and then we'll see if we can work whatever your problem is. So uh, thanks a lot. God bless.